This month, we've been asking the question, what gifts can we bring? Our gifts come in many forms, prayers for the church and prayers for each other, participation in worship and participation in opportunities to serve. Those are great gifts, they're necessary gifts. The church wouldn't be the church without them and we're all blessed by your generosity. And then there's the gift we don't like to talk about, money. By listing those other gifts first, I hope we understand that money isn't the only thing, but it is a thing. All of this is a long way of telling you that the 2024 pledge cards are available today and you can pick one up. And if you get out of here without one, well, that's okay, because we'll send you one in the mail. Or you can use the online form at aboutfirst.com. Now, a financial pledge is not a requirement and your pledge is not a binding contract. It's your best guess of what you might be able to do this year. And it's a tool for our finance team to make good decisions. Your pledge is always kept confidential. It will never be published or known by anyone outside of our financial office. So what gifts can we bring? When we ask that question, it's not a holy shakedown. It's an invitation to be intentional in how we participate and to do so to the best of our ability. And it's an invitation to dream a little bit about how much more we could do together for the glory of God if resources were no object.